so bright, like the sun is like literally beating down on me. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that has been requested a million times on my channel, and that is my self tanning routine. My self tanning routine. My self tanning routine. And I often reply to comments and say that I don't self tan because honestly I don't do it a ton I stay pretty naturally tan but when I do fake tan I have a few different products and I thought I would talk about a few of them today They're all kind of at different price points so that way you guys will have an option of what to choose Every product that I will be talking about is a good product. So there are advantages to each which I will talk about so if you are interested in learning about how I self tan and there's also gonna be a demonstration then just keep watching so the first product that I'm going to talk about is the classic Saint Tropez tanning mousse you can get this at Ulta or Sephora I have the 8 ounce bottle and it retails for $42 this is probably like the most well-known tanning product and the most accessible it's nice because you can just pick it up store near you the color is really great it's like um, it comes out a little bit green and so when you put it on, it avoids like the orange cast and all of that stuff. Um, you do need to buy a mitt separately. The standard Saint Tropez tanning mitt retails for $6.50. So in combination, you'd probably need to spend about $50. It does come with a ton of product. This is the largest size out of all the tanning things that I'll be talking about. That's pretty much all that I have to say. <laughs> so the next product that I have to talk about is Loving Tan. Favorite part about this tanning product in particular is the smell. It smells exactly like pink sugar perfume and you don't get any of like that fake tanner smell at all so if that's a concern for you I would definitely recommend Loving Tan. It doesn't come out as much so green as it just does a deep brown however I don't notice the orange cast at all and the demonstration that I'll be doing does use this product and I will go into that process more at the end. The Loving Tan mousse is four fluid ounces which compares to the San Tropez which is eight and um, this retails for $40 so it is a little bit more expensive per ounce but it's a little bit higher quality in my opinion other products from Loving Tan I have the bronze shimmer luminous cream and this is like a deep um, colored cream I don't like I can swatch a little bit on my hand for you um, it's like really really deep but when you blend it out obviously it um, blends in but it's like more of an instant bronzer so I'll put this on if I'm going out or and I'm, I'm showing a lot of skin and I'm feeling really pale or if my tan is wearing off this is a great option again it has the same really nice smell so and this retails for $32.95 and then probably my favorite part about loving tan is the applicator mitt I have the deluxe mitt however it's so worth the money it retails for $14.95 but it's like there's fabric on the outside. It's almost like uh, made out of like a soft fabric and then it's like the foam on the inside. It's gonna last so long and it just applies the tan really evenly and beautifully. I definitely recommend investing in a nice mitt and I haven't seen one that's quite this high quality. So Loving Tan also does offer a tan removing skin polishing glove. So if your tan is wearing off, you can go ahead and use this inside of the shower to kind of exfoliate. You can also use it before tanning as well. The final product is the most inexpensive however it is also um, kind of the hardest to apply in my opinion you still get great color results but it's not quite as long lasting and the smell is a little bit um, more strong and that is the St. Moritz tanning mousse and this one you get 6.7 fluid ounces so it's in between the Loving Tan and the St. Tropez and you can get it at Target online and it retails for $13 so and if you know how to apply this and you're kind of more professional tanner this is an option as well. St. Moritz also has a tanning mitt it retails for $7 at Target so if you were to buy the two it would be about $20. It's definitely less high quality this is just a thin piece of fabric and then the other side is foam. Um, this is going to be similar to the Saint Tropez one. It definitely does the job if you are looking to purchase um, multiple of these. So that concludes the three products that I would recommend for self tanning. They're all mousse form for how I tan in some tanning tips. I usually try to shower, shave, and exfoliate before I tan but you don't want to do that um, like right before you tan because the shower, when you're in the shower all of your pores open up so if you apply a tan right after that the tan sinks into your pores and that's when you get kind of like the speckled look 
So I try to shower either the day before or I'll shower in the morning and then I'll put the tan on at night. And I'll also moisturize, but you want to give that plenty of time to sink in because it's just going to decrease the longevity of your tan. And then right before I tan, I put a little bit of lotion on the drier spots of my skin, such as like your elbows, your wrists, your hands, and your feet. And your knees maybe I usually um, don't don't tan with any clothes on but for the purpose of the video I'm wearing like shorts and a sports bra and then I'll just put on a little bit of the tan on the mousse and then you just rub in circular motions and I like to like rub it really well like I'll do like a hundred circles per leg it's better to overdo it in my opinion so I will usually use like two pumps for each leg and then one pump for each arm a pump for my chest a pump for my stomach and then two pumps for my back after that I usually will, will wear my tan overnight make sure you wear dark clothing to bed or put a towel down or something because the tan can transfer onto clothes so I like to just you know, leave it on overnight it's simple and then you don't have to see anyone while your tan is developing and then I wake up and I rinse off you want to rinse off in like not extremely hot water because that's just going to decrease your tan if you can do kind of like a cold a cooler shower if you can do that and then um, pat dry don't rub these are all just things that will increase the longevity of your tan other than that you are good to go and usually my tans last for like three to five days and I don't do them consecutively but usually just before an event or if I'm feeling extra pale or something of that sort. I hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you liked like the different options that I gave you depending on you know what's most convenient for you what you think is gonna work best for you it's really different for everyone I love all of these products if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already leave video requests in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next one